dude. YouTube, hello and welcome to the stream. How is it going? Today we are playing something very special. Before we begin, YouTube, I'd like to apologize to Resident Evil 6 directly for calling it the worst Resident Evil game. Hell, I may even want to apologize to Resident Evil Gaiden for calling it the worst Resident Evil game. Because boy, yeah, oh boy, do we have a game today that is the worst Resident Evil game. Yeah, I'm sure dude. a lot of you guys don't even know what this game is. steve is all about it, apparently. Let me mute steve for a second. This game is called Resident Evil Survivor. Uh, it came out uh, in the year 2000, so it's 22 years old. And it is a first-person Resident Evil game. And, uh, yeah, boy, well, you know, what? we'll just get to it. We'll just get right to it. And then I'll explain more once we begin. Let me take emote only mode off. I am playing this on a totally legal PlayStation. Uh, let me kind of reboot it here and hopefully everything works. Uh, Okay. Let me see here. Make sure this is all not broken. Uh, for my my totally legal uh, PlayStation, it's called Duck Station, by the way. We do get one good thing, though. We get one good thing here. Nope, that's not it. Here it is. You guys ready? It's so good. That's it. It's all downhill from there. You're going to hear the audio kind of fucking up. It might be a little low, but that's just the totally legal PlayStation booting up. All right. Hopefully everything works. Sometimes uh, it <laughs> some, sometimes it disconnects my controller. So, uh, yeah, we have to see once we get in. This game contains scenes of explicit violent and gore. You can enjoy a very realistic sound by setting the sound mode to stereo and using a pair of headphones. Thanks. All right. Okay. Classic noises. Let me just check everything here. Uh, okay, yeah, I think everything's good. I will play normal. Resident Evil Survivor. Resident Evil. I don't know why he says it like that. This is not an arcade game. All right, chat, shut the fuck up. Story, story. Disaster struck the quiet Midwestern residents of Raccoon City. An uncontrollable outbreak of the umbrella-created T-Virus transformed the city into an inescapable death trap. Like my stream. To stop the outbreak from spreading, Umbrella Incorporated was forced to wipe out the entire city. However, this was not the only location where an outbreak occurred. This story is self-contained, by the way. I'm not sure if it's canon, uh, but it's self-contained. Kind of. Dude, look at these fucking graphics. The year 2000, baby. Why does this sound like text-to-speech? Okay, so first off, this is the opening cutscene. You're not going to get away. Let me know how the volume is, by the way. The audio is all over the place, if you can believe it. It's low. Okay, I'll raise it afterwards. Oh, that's us, by the way. We were the pilot. Or something. Oh, we're close to a hype train. Let's go. Oh, we were. You guys blew it. How dare you? I hate you. <coughs> Ethan Winters? No, we're like 17 years or 18 years before Ethan Winters. Hmm. <laughs> 
My head aches and I can't remember anything. My only hope is this gun. I must remember. I must survive. It's the name of the game, kind of. Where? Where am I? Oh. I... I don't remember anything. Who am I? You like this voice acting? Okay, so, before we go to the hype train, this is the game, all right? We're in first person, okay? You, I don't, I'm playing this with the D-pad. Couple of things uh, about this game. First things first, you can't reload manually. You have unlimited ammo, so don't worry. You can't reload manually. So in order to reload, you have to shoot all of your bullets. Also, I don't think there's a way to save in this game unless you die. Uh, this game looks like it was supposed to be an arcade game, but it only came out on PlayStation and I think Windows back in 2000. The game is like two hours long, like an hour and a half, two hours. And if you can believe it, in uh, North America, this game came out after Code Veronica. Code Veronica came out in February of 2000. This came out in August of 2000. Can you imagine playing Code Veronica and being like, yeah, okay, this makes sense. This is a traditional, you know, Resident Evil game. It's it's kind of okay. It's not the best, but, it, you know, it's good. Oh, Resident Evil Survivor, what's that? And then you play, you play this. This game was also compatible with the light gun or the gun con, whatever it was called. It's a mess. Something cool, though. This game does have multiple paths, so we might do two playthroughs of this game. We'll see. We'll see how I feel after one playthrough. I might be emotionally destroyed after one playthrough. Uh, but this game is only single player. There's no multiplayer uh, at all. And this was the start of, like, I guess their first-person genre because there's Survivor, then there's Survivor 2, which is essentially this but Code Veronica, and that is a complete, that's a complete mess. Then there's like a dinosaur one that's kind of like Dino Crisis, and then the fourth and final one that we're playing tomorrow is Resident Evil Dead Aim, which is better than this, but still not great. But in a weird way, without this, you probably wouldn't get, like, the Wii ones that were supposed to be pretty good. Uh, I don't know if that, that, it's in the same series as this, but there's, like, three Resident Evil games in this chunk and one dinosaur game. I don't know. Uh, yeah. All right, well, we got to scam first. So we're going to scam, and then uh, we're going to play this goddamn disaster. But first things first before I forget, let me raise the volume a little bit. All right, shut the fuck up, dog. Shut the hell up. All right, gamers, we'll be right back. We're going to scam. All right, YouTube, we're back from a super hype hype train. And, uh, well, let us begin. Uh, I'll adjust the audio some more if I need to, but I did make it a little bit louder. So, yeah, uh, to recap, not much happened. A helicopter exploded, and we landed, and we have a gun. I'm about to bust. And Hank's about to bust. Thank you for the store at frameratemerch.com. Oh, by the way, you can't look up and down unless you're aiming. Well, actually, not even with your aiming. You can't look up and down. You... You look familiar, but... Oh... Uh, um. But I just can't remember. The name Art Thompson Art is Thompson, carved huh? on that tag. Though I can't remember anything, I know that this was no way for anyone to die. You guys ready for the action part of what? the game? <laughs> That's the whole game, pretty much. Shout out to the name Art Thompson. <laughs> You've obtained a rusted key. 
Uh, so this reuses assets from Resident Evil 2, and I think 1 as well. And uh, you are definitely not supposed to see these zombies in first person, because they look rough. Uh, something cool, though, is you don't need to grab an item. You just walk into it. But uh, from what I mentioned earlier, this is one of the, I think, two or three choices where the, the game splits. So you can go down that door, this door, or this door. Uh, I truly don't know the difference, so I'm just going to go through this door. Can you see the items? Yeah, you can. What a fun game. Uh, no, you cannot walk side to side. You can only walk forward. If you look left and right, you turn. Once again, yeah, I apologize to Resident Evil 6 and Resident Evil Guidance. Specifically to 6, saying it's the worst Resident Evil game. I've played this for a total of 10 minutes, and I can already tell this is going to be great. Oh, shit. Is anyone back here? Any spookies? No. So this is what happens when you're not looking at a zombie. Come on. Oh, hey, buddy. He turns you like he like he's going in for a kiss. Also, it's kind of weird to aim in this game. Like I try to aim at the head, but there's kind of like a uh, an auto aim that pulls it to like the center of their chest. So I don't even know if like aiming for the head is even worth it. You have unlimited pistol ammo, so you can just kind of spray it. An old clock is ticking. A clock winder seems to be attached to it. <coughs> I can't believe this game has no fucking reload button. Genius, really. Yeah, you, I have an inventory. I'll show you in a second. See? And yeah, unlimited handgun bullets. We have handgun A, my favorite. And there's like, uh, yeah, there's files and shit. I don't think we found any. Or if this is a file, I don't know how to open it. And then the map is uh, self-explanatory. Kind of like your traditional map. Well, if I use the key. Handgun, handgun A implies B, that's true. And you know what? That's a good point. The UI in this is definitely better than the UI, and this guy's on the other side of the world. It's better than the UI in 6, without a doubt. There really isn't any redeeming qualities about this game. Besides, like, the hysterical voice acting. Oh, I put the winder here, I assume. Oops. Please. P oh my god, please. The old clock is not working. I've used the clock winder. gonna put that uh put in the title this is a ps1 game not that people read the title but dude secret stairs let's go is this about the same as resident Evil one or two playthrough no this game's like 90 minutes long it's extremely short my check zombies We don't even know the pro tag's name yet? No. We found dog tags for a dead body that said Ark Thompson. And that was the guy hanging off the helicopter. Church manager's diary. Church manager's diary. October 7th, 1998. I was nine years old. Today, the leaders of each section of the city, including myself, attended a meeting with the commander. The briefing was on the destruction of Raccoon City. 
During the conference, everyone placed blame on William Birkin. He betrayed the company and wanted to keep the G-Virus for himself. The commander told us that if there was a traitor like Birkin in the city, we should execute him immediately and without question. I wholeheartedly agree with the commander's orders that the, this city is as vital to Umbrella as uh, that laboratory in Raccoon City was. No, it is actually much more important. We must not allow a biohazard uh, to happen in this city. We cannot let Umbrella's efforts to buy the city and establish these billion dollar facilities go to waste. We should keep a closer eye on the behavior of the personnel in the future. Interesting. Here, is there a crawly, cre a creepy crawly? Oh, you son of a bitch, you tried to get me. By the way, there is no quick turn in this game. Okay, reload my gun. There's the herb. Can you combine herbs in this game? You have to, right? Do I even have more than one? Oh, I only have one right now, okay. If you can't combine herbs in this game, I'm gonna scream. It's a Resident Evil game, even if it's this shit. <coughs> yeah, there's no quick anything in this game. Except the game itself, it is pretty quick. Alright, let's head down the secret stairs. So this takes place uh, at least after 2. I'm not sure if it takes place before 3 or what. I'm trying to figure out where I put this playthrough in my... Oh, shit! Ah! Hate it. Hate it. Fucking hate it. Hate it a lot, actually. Hate it. I'm trying to figure out where I put this game in my, uh... YouTube playlist. Fucking hate spiders. Can't do spiders, chat. I think my alerts are caught up so I can unmute those. Oh, hey, guys. Hey. You wanna wrestle? The church's rear key. Ooh, the church's booty. What's up, Twig? Thomas likes 69, don't we all? Oh, interesting. Hold on. If you change screens, you automatically reload. If there's like a loading transition, I think you do. Oh, you do. Okay, that's actually kind of nice. If we're really trying to be positive about this game. We're trying to find anything yeah, cool about dude. it. All right, we got voice acting and it auto reloads through loading screens. Okay, we're at two. Hello, doggies. Ah! So, a uh, further reminder, I'm trying to aim with the D-pad, so a fast-moving enemy is really bad. <laughs> the phone hang up! <laughs> the phone hang up! Okay. I hate when the phone hang up. Yo, what's up, Kyle? Okay, so... Uh... I believe the three doors at the beginning of the game all lead to this area. Yeah, dude. So, like, this is, like, your first kind of, like, the game... Kind of meets up in one spot. All right. The phone hang up! <laughs> Why use many word when few word do trick? It's true. The illusion of choice. Hey, listen, it's 2000. Oh, there's liquors already. Oh, there's two liquors. Good. I gotta reload, gotta reload. Ow. Okay, yep. Ow, ow. Get around. Got a key. Ooh, a cracked key. Oh, 
Oh my god, aiming with the D-pad should be illegal. Oh shit. Nope, I'm good. Also, I got hit like four times and my health didn't go down. Is there anything over here? I'm also not even 100% sure you had to fight them. You maybe might have been able to grab the key and just leave. Because they didn't drop anything. Who do you play as in this game? Uh, I have no idea yet. Oh, the phone again. I hope the phone don't hang up, or the phone hang up. Vincent. Who is this? Vincent? Who's that? Wait. Am I Vincent? Vincent, you are a murderer. A murderer. A murderer? What are you talking about? Answer me. Who did I kill? Oh no, the phone hang up. Alright, so I guess we're Vincent. And we killed somebody. And we are the best voice actor of all time. Alright, so once again, illusion of choice. Uh, that one key we grabbed can open any three of these doors. The library. The hos- The hospital, I think that says. And, uh, I can't even see what this one says. Great. Awesome. Wonderful. Uh, let's go to the library. Because having fun isn't hard. You got a library card, dude. Let's go. Yeah, dude. Alright, what we got in here? Oh, shit. Who are you? What are you talking about, Vincent? What did you call me? Please, you are don't dad. kill me. You're my dad. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Why would I kill you? Who are you? Helicopter. Vincent, this is all your fault. You made them send those cleaners to destroy this place. Cleaners? What do you mean? <laughs> Danny DeVito, come back! Wait! Okay, uh, helicopter, cleaners, Danny DeVito's running wild. Okay. Uh, oh. This is the guide map of the library. Okay, yeah, I can't read that. Yo, Mike Rocks, thank you for the gifted, uh, the gifted sub. If you're an employee and you're, and are borrowing a book, please use your ID card. Ooh, do I need an ID card? Yeah, dude. Someone said the third area was an arcade. That would have been rad to go to. A picture is hung on the wall. Yep, thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna assume Danny locked it. Okay. <coughs> so we, yeah, we're Vincent DeVito and Danny DeVito is our dad and he's, we did something wrong but our dad's not telling us what. Also, someone named Ark Thompson is dead or something. What the fuck? Oh, hey, there's a green herb there. Oh, uh, I don't know if we can combine it, but I'm going to wait to see if there's, like, red herbs in this game. I didn't even see that herb. I just ran into it. What? <laughs> it's such a shame that you must die here, Vincent. After all, this is the type of place where a cold-blooded murderer should die. <laughs> Danny, is that you? That sounds like somebody different. What the fuck is the music? Uh, Kyle, I'm playing on a totally legit, uh, PlayStation plugged into a PC. Oh, Hunters! Wow, hunters are fucking ugly, dude. Yeah, these enemies were not meant to be seen in first person. Uh, Kyle, I'm using uh, Duck Station on, on uh, PC. I tried to find a bunch of other PlayStation emulators, uh, but they weren't really working for me. Duck Station worked uh, flawlessly. Oh, a new gun! Can I grab it? Ma maybe? Handgun D! 
What happened to B and C? Okay. Sure. Man, they really went all out with these weapon names. Okay, this one only has eight bullets in a magazine compared to 17. I'm gonna assume it's stronger, but maybe I should never assume. Dude, Chad, I got Yeah, handgun these nuts. Okay, yep. Y'all made the same joke. Oh, this thing fires super slow as well. All right, well. Hopefully it does a lot of damage, or I don't know what the fuck we're gonna do. I guess go back to the other one. Yo, lukewarm. First time chatter. What's going on, man? <coughs> oh, did it reload instantly? I didn't even realize it was a quick reload. Another door. Does it reload instantly? Oh, yeah, it does reload kind of fast. We'll see, though. I mean, eight bullets compared to 17 in a magazine is a huge difference. Hey, thank you for the store order. Framerightmerch.com. Does this game have item boxes? No. Oh, shit! Dogs! Ow, oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Firing at this is not great. Oh, I'm in caution. This is impossible to aim. Okay. So I see uh, Vincent went to the uh, Chris Redfield School of Health, where you could take 80 hits of damage. All right, this is open now. So I think, oh, there's a zombie over there. I think there's a way you can have the analog stick move, but, oh, it's a liquor. There's two, are you fucking kidding me? What do you mean? I'm in danger. Oh shit, I'm dead. Hey, I'm not sure about, oh, okay. I'm not sure about this pistol, chat. I'm not sure about this pistol. Hey, at least I went down getting licked. I have lives? There's fucking lives in this game? Yo, this was absolutely meant to be an arcade game, but it wasn't. For whatever reason. Okay. I'm back Who over here? Oh, you can skip cutscenes, okay. Oh, I still have my gun. Interesting. So can I just go in and then turn around? Hold on. What? I want to hear the laugh. <laughs> it's such a shame. Oh, I can't skip this. Die here, Vincent. After all, this is the type of place where a cold-blooded murderer should die. <laughs> so can I just straight up run around? Or I'm sorry, uh, run backwards and run out? Oh, no, I have to kill the hunter. Okay. Okay, you know what? This did kill the hunter in, like, five shots or four shots, so... Interesting. So, I, I recently watched a video on this game and uh, Dead Aim by uh, the YouTube channel named, I believe it's the Sphere Hunter. Let me double check. Let me make sure I get her channel right. Hold on. Yeah, dude. Yes. So if you want to learn more about this game and Dead Aim, I'll link it in the YouTube description. Uh, watch those videos. They're super good. I think this game was originally supposed to work with the Gun Con, or... I think in Japan it got the gun con, but it, the gun con didn't come out to the United States because this was like shortly after Columbine. So Capcom's like, oh, uh, yeah, we're not going to do that. So, uh, yeah. 
you're forced to play with a controller or um I think a mouse you can play with. Uh, also, as you saw, you can run past enemies. I don't know what to do here. Oops. Let me try switching my gun back, because I think that'll be better for the, uh, the liquors in here. Yeah, mouse. T tomorrow, when we play, uh, Dead Aim, you can play that with mouse and keyboard, so I'm gonna try and do that. Like, I think it was even native on the PlayStation 2. Do these guys still work on sound? Like, can I, like, try and sneak past? Umbrella top secret file. Oh, that's weird that it's just... <laughs> in the library, out in the open. For your eyes only, chat. Don't tell, it's a secret. It's a secret. Shh. This file contains the data for the BOWs created by the virus contamination that occurred during the biohazards. The first biohazard was caused by the T-Virus leak at the Arkele Lab on May 11th, 1998. The second was a large... Chat, don't write this down. It's top secret. If you write it down, there's going to be more proof. The second was a large-scale biohazard at Raccoon City, which happened four months later. Although they have not been confirmed yet, note that there may be BOWs other than the ones listed below. The data for those will be filed when it is ready. BOW file number one, a zombie. Oh, you guys know what a zombie is? Humans who are contaminated by the T-Virus, they have lost their consciousness and wander around on their instinct and appetite to satisfy their hunger for human flesh. Tactical procedure. As their movements are slow, they can be easily eliminated if you keep enough distance to snipe. BOW2. Cerberus. Dogs which are contaminated by the T-Virus. Their bodies have not rotted as much as that of the zombies, so they can move much more faster. Or move much faster. They are very sensitive to noise if they hear you... Run, they will pursue and attack you. Tactical procedure. You can eliminate them with a handgun, but since they are fast, it may be difficult to aim. Oh, did you see me just try to aim at them earlier like this? Yeah, I'm just going to run away if I can. Liquors, number three. They are created by a mutation that occurs when a zombie is contaminated by the T-virus. As a result of the transformation process, they have... Uh, conspicuous, so you say that? Features like exposed brain tissue, and they move around on all four legs compared to zombies. They possess incredible agility. They have no eyes and are unable to see. Instead, they have an abnormal, evolved sense of hearing. As they attack in response to sound, you should be careful when firing at them, since they are very keen on hearing footsteps. You should avoid running when they are around. Number four, Ivy. Oh, the fucking plant enemies are in this game? BOWs, which are created from plants, they can move on their own will be using uh, the vapor inhaled do their skin watch out for their tentacles which are used like whips uh, fire is lethal to them a grenade launcher is a very effective weapon number five a hunter bow that is created when the t-virus contaminates the human dna since they're loyal they're loyal 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 oh my god lower fucking christ body muscles have been enhanced they can jump incredibly high they attack enemies with their razor sharp claws uh except the one i fought which went very slow and didn't do anything This guy was, like, walking toward me like he was stuck in mud. Just before they jump at an enemy, they stop their movement momentarily. You should attack them during this time. Number six, a tyrant. Good. Please don't say the word uh, lower anywhere in here. The ultimate result of our BOW project with the T-Virus based on the regular tyrant, the more ferocious enhanced tyrant, and nemesis, which is even more aggressive and intelligent, were created at our European branch. Oh, thanks, Europe. There are no, there are virtually no countermeasures against Tyrant's incredible power. And the prototype. They are not yet complete, but logically speaking, we can create and mass produce more ferocious BOWs by adding certain materials during the process of cultivating Tyrant genes. However, there is one problem. Oh, good, it gets cut off. Great. Far, we're good. Woo! Stop! Oh, fucking Christ. <laughs> Imagine getting scared by Resident Evil Survivor. <laughs> okay. 
Jesus Christ. Okay. Good jump scare. Alright, so these guys go down in four shots. With this gun. I don't really like how slow it shoots, though. What is this? Oh, the manhole opener. Ah, yes, this is used for sounding. I got it. How else are you going to open the manhole? You actually did mocap for the zombies? Oh, nice, dude. Nice. That makes sense, because it looks so I'm good and realistic. Bust. Store order. Frameratemerch.com. Thank you for ordering something. Appreciate it. Also, thank you for the almost 350 sub you got going. That's more people than I've ever played this game, probably. Ah, oh, fuck me. You know what? I'm about to bust. I am about to bust, Hank. Bust these dogs up! Oh, there's like fucking a hundred of them. Okay, well. Uh, can they not walk down this... Oh, they can't. Okay. Can you run past me? There's a dog behind me. There he is. Come on, auto aim. I need you here. I need you. Uh. Ah! Dong on PlayStation Game Pass? No. I don't think anybody, especially uh, Capcom, wants to remember this game exists. Oh, a red herb. This and Resident Evil Gaiden, I think, will never be brought up again by Capcom. Oh, you can't combine. Good. Cool. You can't shoot out the windows because I shot out one uh, on accident. Well, maybe not all of them, but the one in the last room I I'm shot out the window. To bust. Thank you for the store order. Frameratemerch.com. Got some stickers. Nice. Thank you. A lot of stickers. Yeah, at least Gaiden did something different. Did it work? Uh, not really. But they tried something. I can't fucking see? Oh, God. Ah! Those are all like fucking bees or some shit. Okay. Hi, Chloe. Chloe, why are you watching this? Chloe, I like you too much for you to be watching this, please. For your own mental health, literally go anywhere else. Reopening manholes? Yeah, you know me. Good old Vincent. Opening manholes. Chloe's here for Fall Guys. Oh, for Bean Game? Yeah, since this game is pretty short, like I said, afterwards we'll probably switch over to Bean Game for a little bit. So what do we chop liver? Oh yeah, absolutely. Shotgun bullets. Okay, so we get a shotgun soon. And any other weapons we grab do require ammo. Okay. Or we've missed the shotgun. Who knows? The FOV in this game is roughly three. So, uh... I might have missed it. I fucking hope not, though. Oh, yo, shout out to Jander Andy! Am I excited for that Kirby Fall Guys game? Yeah, I'll give it a, I'll give it a shot whenever it comes out. Sewer Caretaker Andy's Diary. September 6th, I've never seen him. But I heard that one called Vincent has become the city's supreme commander. Oh, shit. I was a supreme commander? Officially, he is an elite sent by Umbrella Headquarters. In truth, he is such a fiend that he would not hesitate to kill his friend if it would promote him. Well, since I live here in this dark sewer, it doesn't mean anything to me. Jesus Christ, Andy, you don't have a home? All right, two weeks later, I heard a disgusting rumor. The new commander, Vincent, orders the facility personnel to do savage experiments every day on kids brought in from all over the world. Am I getting fucking banned if I keep reading this? 
I don't even know why those kids were brought to this city, but it sure is disturbing. Well, I don't want to get involved so long as it doesn't affect me. October 10th. It seems some terrible accident happened above ground last night. I don't know any more details, but I heard the commander Vincent has done something cruel. November 9th, a month later. Uh, today, at last, Commander Vincent came down here for an inspection. We made small talk, but I could see nothing but cruelty in him. When I took a picture of him as a souvenir, he became very angry. He is such a jerk. Alright, I hope Andy's okay. Dude, Andy just wanted a picture. A picture? Yeah, dude. A picture? <laughs> no. This is me. I am Vincent. It was all my fault. What the fuck? Who the fuck is this? Wait. Please don't kill me. I, I didn't know anything about you then. Stop. Yeah, dude. What just happened? Yo, Andrew, thank you for the 58 months. Okay, for, we had we had the greatest picture of all time. And then we had a... I, I don't know. We had a meltdown. We're like, oh my god, we're Vincent. And then this kid shows up. Was that Janet or Andy? That kid was like 11. And then he left. Okay. <laughs> okay. <coughs> what? That's me! Loyal, thank you for the 10 gifted subs, by the way. I'm afraid to, like, run anywhere. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's why! Okay, we're good. Do you think they called Janitor Andy yeah, Jandy? Dude. Maybe. Maybe. I love that you could just walk past enemies. Or I guess run in this instance. Oh, paradise! Yeah, somehow I doubt that. Are we the baddies? Right now we are. Oh shit! I was drinking spicy water! Hold on! I like how they flop down. Boop! Everybody do the flop! Do, do, do the flop. Do, do, do the flop. Everybody do the flop. Alright, so we got the office and the prison. Uh... I guess we'll go to the office. You have unlimited handgun ammo. We picked up shotgun ammo, but we don't have the shotgun, so, like, I don't know where it is. Oh, shit! Oh, okay, bye, see ya. That guy went down on one shot. Can I open these? No. Can I go in here? Yeah. Maybe I did headshot him. I guess they do count. Alright, another file. It looks like a key. Any shotguns in chat? Any shotguns? This is probably for the prison. Uh, yeah, okay, prison cell. All right, more lore. Ooh, the prison chief. <coughs> October 20th, today we received a reply to a report about the incident where 20 guinea pigs committed suit. What is happening in this fucking game? Where 20 guinea pigs committed suicide the other day. The headquarters does not seem to have any suspicions and says, says that they plan to gather replacement guinea pigs soon. Now, are we talking like literal guinea pigs or are we talking about the kids from earlier? It's too late, but now I'm starting to regret that I sent a fake report of a mass suicide incident when it was actually a mass escape. However, as long as I stay in the city, it means death to me if I dare to oppose Commander Vincent. I'll never forget the cruel smile of Vincent when he was shooting at the boys who tried to escape from the prison on that night. It looked as if he were killing a bunch of insects. Commander Vincent is indeed a very cold-blooded person, just as he is rumored to be. He is a true murderer. I am in a position where I'm supposed to report the truth to headquarters, but I'm so afraid of Commander Vincent, I don't know what to do. Bro, what the fuck? 
Okay, yeah, rip team G Force, you're right. I don't know if Capcom directly made this or just published it. Oh, what the fuck? Did you guys get back up? I know I have unlimited ammo, but come on. This guy's stuck on a table. Resident Evil Remake, is that you? Yeah, I've gotten, I've gotten jump scared twice. You think that's a shotgun? Is that a rope? No, Crimson Heads are only in Remake. What's in here? Oh, buddy. The fuck? Are you alive? Okay. Oh, are Crimson Heads in Raccoon City? Or Operation Raccoon City? I don't remember anything from that game, really. Still alive? Oh shit, hey. How's it going? His neck has been cut open by a sharp blade. Yikes. Oh. Prison diary. A young man's diary. An imprisoned boy's diary. September 5th, 16 days have passed since I was abducted on a street in Congo by the men in black. Oh, Will Smith, come on! And was brought here. I didn't understand what was happening at first, but I gradually became aware of the truth of this city. We seem to be confined here to serve as guinea pigs for a medical company called Umbrella Inc. All the residents of the city work for Umbrella. Even the women and children are finally, or are family members of employees. The guinea pigs, yeah, he actually slapped this kid before he kidnapped him. The guinea pigs seem to be gathered from all over the world. The guy in the next room is from China. The one in front of my cell is from Brazil. The rest are Russian, Japanese. It's like a world trade show. It's strange that they are all around my age. The youngest is 16, the oldest is 19 or 20. Those guys from Umbrella sometimes take us to an arcade or to a nightclub so that we can enjoy ourselves and relieve our stress, but it won't let them deceive me. I will escape from this place. No matter what it takes, I must. Anyway, the most important thing to do now is to organize and gather our comrades for what lies ahead. September 10th, recently the others have been behaving strangely. It seems that they put some kind of weird drug into our meal. I sometimes lose consciousness too. I have to be careful. September 21st, I can't believe another friend of mine, Chin, from the next room, was taken to the factory on the mountain. I don't think Chin's coming back. He will meet the same fate as Anna or Jacob, who disappeared last week. I know. I know what happens to those who are taken to the factory on the mountain. When they took me to a nightclub yesterday, I overheard a conversation that some factory workers were having. Under orders from Vincent, the commander of the, commander of the city, they cut open our brains and extract some kind of material. Whatever they call it. All I can say now, or all I can say is that Vincent is a devil. No, not just Vincent. Even the women and children in this city don't treat us as human beings, but as guinea pigs. All the people in the city are evil. I will surely be killed if I have to stay here any longer. We have to hurry and execute our escape plan. October 9th, the time has come. I have noticed the Umbrella people have been visibly disturbed for about a week or so. Rumor has it that there was a terrible accident at... Excuse me. At the Umbrella Laboratory somewhere in America, all the prison guards seem to be very busy gathering information on the accident, so security isn't as tight. We've organized our comrade already, Stoch uh, Stokovic, I probably said that wrong, sorry, and Enriquez are supposed to steal the keys from the guards. Sankon and I will act as decoys, and Yoshikawa and Felipe are in charge of gathering weapons. 
Not just the men, but the women and the children, too. October 10th, we've decided on our escape route. The plan will be carried out at 11 p.m. tonight. We have 20 members separated into two units, Unit A and Unit B. Unit A will go into the sewer through the vent. Sus! Uh, vent slot of the confinement room, while Unit B will use a rope climb down from the surveillance tower. We'll use the rope they used to tie us. If we fail, Vince will surely kill us, but if we stay here, Vince will order them to cut our brains eventually. We're dead either way, but I'd rather die trying to escape. What the fuck is happening in this game, dude? So the guinea pigs are the kids they uh, kidnapped, and there wasn't a mass suicide. According to the, the chief, they just escaped. Amogus? I don't know if I should keep going this way, because I think there's another door I could go through if I go back through the the prison the prison gate. Yeah, I'm just going into doors willy-nilly, dude. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Oh, fuck. Oh, we're in the shower. Oh, is that the shoddy? Who the fuck leaves a shotgun in the shower? All right, well, we got the shoddy. Yeah, you guys leave your spaz 12 in the shower by chance? <coughs> yeah, that's mine. Uh, let me actually pull up the map here. Okay, so the room we're going into is also the same room where we could have entered before. Maybe that door is locked and this one isn't. I don't fucking know. We'll see. Interesting. Holy shit. Okay, uh... Ow, fuck. The one in the back is just kinda chillin'. He doesn't care that I just killed his friend. Look at him, he's just like... Well, I guess he's sideways. Hi, welcome to chill! He's had a long day, maybe. Oh, there we go. Okay. I probably should use the shotgun against them, but this pistol was, was actually pretty good. For the most part, I should say. I mean, it definitely helped that they did not come uh, at the same time. I think we still have that green herb from earlier. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we have two full heals. Good. Now that I know I have fucking lives in this game, I'll actually heal. Uh, handgun D walks so Red 9 could run. Dude, I love the Red 9. I don't know how good it really is in Resident Evil 4, but... I love the Red 9. Uh... Wait, what the fuck am I doing up here? Oh, the rope. Right, right, right. Oh. <laughs> I think it's the first time there's ever been a rope loading screen in a Resident Evil game. Maybe the first and only time. Oh, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Uh. What the fuck do you mean? What the fuck do you mean? Oh, are you? Oh, that was not. Oh. All right. <laughs> yeah, dude. Got some grenade rounds. You shot him in the dick? Yeah, that's where the brain is. I mean, for most men, that's where the brain is. Am I right, fellas? Thinking with the wrong head.
Oh, shit. Uh. Am I just gonna have to, like, Call of Duty Zombies this guy? This is so stupid. This is, this is, this is a dumb fight. This is so stupid. Also, how many of these guys are there? I got them. I have more grenade rounds, I guess. Brain in the dick, piss in the balls. Yeah, Chloe, it's hard being a guy. Our anatomy is scuffed. Unrelated though, Booba! Yeah! Women! Let's go! All right, so those guys are easy to kill as long as it's like one-on-one -on -one and you can run around. And they drop grenade rounds, it seems like. Sure. Okay. This beat is kind of popping, to be honest with you. Yeah, you're right. Uh, anyone behind the bar? No. Oh, there's an herb right there in my fucking face. Hello. Gu Gaiden, why could we pick up ammo for guns we didn't have? I forgot about that in Gaiden. God, what an annoying feature. Oh, you found shotgun shells. Yeah, but you don't have a shotgun, so do you really need this? Alright, looks like we need a key card. Okay. Remember when we found the, like, super cheese at the end of Gaiden? with a gas grenade. That would have been so good earlier on. Kyra, thank you for the two years. Ooh, the VIP room. Oh, oh, okay. The club hall. Oh, there's no fucking room in here. Are you serious? Oh, hold on. Can I just do this? Mm. Ow, fuck. No, don't look at his ass. Oh, but he has... He has grenade rounds. Uh, that's... There's no space to fight in there. I gotta get out. There's no space to fight. It's like fighting in a fucking bathroom stall. Do you think that was his VIP pass? What's with the fucking music? Oh, are you... Hold on. Yep, okay. Why are there so many fucking tyrants? Alright, fucking walk over here. Walk over here. Okay. Shotgun shells. I'm gonna assume that guy is still in that room. Oops. I do want to check the map quickly. Because I think there was an area that we... Yeah, yeah, That upper area, that door up there. On the top right. Let me go back outside and see that area. Before we go use the key card. Ah, rip. Okay. There's no need to go back. Fuck exploring, I guess. If we run out of lives, do we start over at the beginning? I th I think so. I have no idea. Believe it or not, I've never played a Resident Evil game with lives. So I don't know. What's up, Rai guy? That's right, this totally legal PlayStation has, uh, safe states. That's where the grenade launcher is? With my luck, fucking probably. Umbrella. So this is where the city is controlled from. Oh! <laughs> Brain blast! Oh. Oh. What's happening to me? I, dude, I don't fucking know. Okay, well, there was a flashback, I, I guess that was. Oh, hey. 
Nice. So now we have uh, three mixed herbs. Cool. Aw, oh, dude. Ostrich beer. My favorite. Okay, so I assume this door is similar to like earlier in the game where if I went another path, I would come out of that door instead of that door. Oh, fuck. Oh, there's two of them. Uh-oh. Hold on. Let me actually try the shotgun here. Shotgun bullets. Okay, if you say so. Also, let me use a heal. Oh, uh, actually... Uh, I don't know. Fuck. Now I'll heal. Okay, I think he's dead. Oh, yeah, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. What's this? Magnum rounds? I haven't even found the fucking... Grenade launcher. Dude, it probably was in that room that we passed. seem terrible, honestly. Nope. You are incorrect. It is. I can't explain how bad the controls are without you, like, playing it. It's bad. Oh, shit, hey, buddy. I mean, you got your normal jank. Don't get me wrong, but... There's definitely some interesting decisions. Music is actually pretty nice, though. All right, that doesn't do anything. Uh, oop, another herb. Nice. I mean, it's first-person tank controls is what you're working with here. lead to the same spot? Ooh, they don't. Hmm. Can I go back down or is it gonna give me the same shit? Oh, I can't go back down. Alright, let me see where the other elevator leads. Oh. Oh, it's just one guy? Fuck you. Oh, it's broken. Fuck, great. Could you imagine if tank controls remain standard to this day? I mean, tank controls are pretty bad, but you actually get used to them. I don't mind them. Like, in Resident Evil Remake, I think the tank controls were great. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off. Open, open. Kid. Oh my god, this cutscene. Hello! Can you hear me? Hello! Who are you? Wh what are you doing? Answer me! Ooh, that nice slow turn. It's like fucking Zamazenth and Seishion and, uh, or Zacian and Sword and Shield. Oh, Brain Blast! Oh, that's the guy from the helicopter, I think. All right, uh, cool cutscene, I guess. There's something over here for me to grab. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ! Woo! All right, okay. All right, how we doing? Are we awake? 
I'm awake. You guys awake? Jesus Christ. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. How we doing? We good? Good morning. I can't believe I fell for obvious bait. He's not even fucking coming at me. Whoops. Key card's right there, okay. Yeah, now that I lined my shorts with fucking Dookie, we can keep going. Alright, he's dead. Good fight. Uh, key card on the ground. Can I grab? Yep. Or card key, sorry. More shotgun bullets. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, my diary! Yes! It's my diary! October 10th, last night a group of guinea pigs confined to the prison escaped, took weapons, and caused a riot. The guinea pigs who were responsible for the incident were all shot to death by myself. So what, we killed 20 kids? Is that what happened? Or well, I, I guess not kids, they're like teenagers and shit, but we killed 20, 20 kids essentially? But it will cause a lot of trouble if Umbrella Headquarters becomes aware of this. This could spoil my plan of returning to headquarters and collecting my reward for my great achievements here in the city. I ordered the prison chief to report the incident as a mass suicide, but I will also have to order the others who are involved not to talk about it. November 8th, the people of the city who have been opposing me are now trying to gather information, intending to report to headquarters what I did. Yesterday, that little boy, Lot, told me that a spy sneaked into the city. I guess that spy may have something to do with the rebellion happening here. Uh, what, what is this music? You have like the background track and this guy's like hitting the sound effect like like it's a kid hitting a button on a keyboard. Bro, I'm reading my diary. Why is it so dramatic? Dun 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 dun. What the fuck? Give me that. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Anyway, so I assume that yeah, that little kid is a lot we ran into in the sewers. And, uh, yeah, there's a spy, apparently. I'll let him... I'll let him for now. What? Oh, okay, I'll let him for now and see who he works for and why he is here. Then I'll kill him. It's a sad story. That the only person that I can trust in this whole city is a little kid. Is that little kid lot. November 19th, the people of the city seem to be preparing to hand... Uh, the prosecution report to the headquarters people who are delivering the new guinea pigs next week. They say that they ne that they have evidence of my doings. I can never allow them to reveal that. Those civilians will regret what they are doing. I'll teach them what happens to those who oppose me. November 22nd, now they know who holds the power. I've spread the T-virus all over the city. Hey guys, don't do that. Guys, don't do, you're gonna do it? All right, fuck you. Virus everywhere. I told you not to do it. I released the virus. Everybody has Ligma now. You're welcome. Everybody has Ligma. That's on you. Dude, I'm the worst. Now they know it's a true power. I've spread the T-virus all over the city. Of course, it was done so that it looked like an accident. The city should be completely contaminated. Now I can go back to Umbrella Headquarters and get promoted for my great achievements at the factory. No one can oppose me now. Wait, there is one person that I have to take care of. It's that spy. I have to eliminate the rat who sneaked into the city. Yo, this... This story is kind of dark. This story's kind of fucked. Honestly. We're killing kids. We're... Gassing innocent people. I think they're... Okay. I tried to sneak past and work. Okay, it worked now. Okay, no, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. They're blocking the door. They're... Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I can't even run away. Huh. He's like on my ass! Uh oh. Okay, I need to kill these guys. I tried to get around him and I, I'm getting destroyed. I'm probably gonna have to heal again. Oh my god, there's another one. This is bad. Oh, I'm in danger right now. I need to heal. So, was that one gonna jump through the window regardless, or was it because I shot the window he came through? I don't know, but this is bad. He's dead. Oh, wait. Wait, there was only two. Wait, what the fuck? 
Did the other one go outside just to jump through the window? Or did I just shoot the glass and he... I guess I shot the window and he jumped at the same time. All right, that was confusing. Anyway. Dude, Hunter's jumping over you is really fucking annoying. You're like, I'm gonna get away, and they're like, Lamal, bitch, you thought? Yeah, they were definitely using Shadow Clone Jutsu. I love One Piece. I'm sorry, Inuasha. All right, what do we have in here? Uh, okay, just basic Zombinos. Oh, you're still alive. Fuck you. I can't with this music. It's so intense. What? Vincent? It's me, your mother. My mother? What is happening? Vincent, please. Listen to your mother. I want you to leave Umbrella. I want you to stop performing those terrible crimes and just come back home. Hey, other girl. going to hurt you. What is the tape you are listening to? I, I don't know. I was only listening to it because I'm so bored. My brother told me to wait here. Oh, let me go! Your brother? Yo, what Lily the fuck? Go. Lily, run, go! Lord! I like the floating paper in the back. Put that down. I won't harm you. I promise. Liar. You'll kill me if I drop it. I'm not stupid. Now stay back. Don't come any closer. Yeah, I don't know why they're British. I know you think that I'm a murderer, but you're wrong. I would never do anything like that. Okay, so she was listening to the tape of my mom telling me to leave Umbrella because she was bored. I didn't catch her name. And then her brother, Lot, oi, bruv, comes in with a fucking bat and starts swinging. The girl leaves, and Lot leaves. Okay. Oh, my, re my, my uh, tapping record. Taping? Tapping? Well, wire tapping. We can no longer tolerate what Commander Vincent has been doing to deprive him of his position. We must obtain conclusive evidence of his evil doing and report it to headquarters. By the way, shout out to the red dot below the V in conclusive. Shout out to the red dot. We realize that he is very intelligent and cautious. As a last resort, though, it was very dangerous for us. Uh, it was very dangerous for us was to wiretap his phone conversation. That's very dangerous for us to... Very dangerous for us was to... Okay, that seems like that was not written correctly. Finally, we obtained evidence that was potent enough to deprive him of his position. This tape contains his conversation on the prison with the fucking music. Oh my god. I fucking... I can't. Uh, the tape contains his conversation on the prison breaking incident last month. It proves that he shot those young people all by himself and that he tried to hide the truth. Furthermore, this tape reveals that before coming to the city, Vincent had killed his colleague only for the purpose of his own promotion. If we could hand this tape to the corporate people coming to the city next week, he will lose his position for sure. Then the city will be peaceful once again. All right. Uh, that's where I came from. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Dun, 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 dun. Red herb. You got any spookies behind this corner? Is this a trap? Oh, wait. This is like a... Oh, there's a hole in the wall. Oh, good. Hey, what do you think is over there? Is this bait? Is this bait? Okay, there's elevators over there. Can I go in here? This is a big hole. Something incredibly powerful must have created this. Okay. No. This is broken. Okay. This elevator has not reached this floor yet. Oh, boy. Yep. Who could have saw that coming? Oh, shit. Hey, buddy. First time you decide to charge. I like how this tyrant created the hole and then went back through it. It's like, all right, dude. Shotgun bullets, thanks. All right, is my elevator here now? Oh, how lucky. I think lore-wise is a literal tyrant factory. I mean, it would make sense. We fought like six of them so far. Gaming is life, thank you. For the 61 months. Scrawn, thank you for the five gifted subs. Rip the sub train, but thank you for all the love today, gamers. Are there gonna be liquors and I have to like not step on the glass? Is that it? I assume that was some kind of, like, laser fence or some shit. Like, if you just run straight into it, you take damage. Alright, where's the other one? Oh, way the fuck over there. Uh. Uh, can- Oh, I got it. Oh, there's more. I think I'm winning. Oh, shit. No. Oh, I got him. Okay. Thank the Lord for unlimited pistol ammo. Oh, the grenade launcher. On the hood of a car? Oh, I'm sorry. The grenade gun. Cool. So I guess we just have to find the magnum. Wherever that is. leaving this shit everywhere. Shotgun in the shower. Grenade launcher on the hood of a car. Alright. Hey, Lot and sister. Are they still running from me? Oh, yeah. Hey! Hey, it's for horses. I will say something about this game. It's got me excited for every single cutscene. Oh, is the girl underwater? I didn't see that. Oh, no. All right, well, I already know what's going to happen here. Let me not fuck around. Oh, wow. Fucking one shot, huh? Point blank. I don't even know if I need that second shot. I fired it out of just, like, habit. Ah! 
Oh, that's not good. Oh, I got poisoned? Oh, fuck me. Uh, okay, you're having an issue. Are there fucking blue herbs in this game? I haven't seen any. My fucking second spider was doing the Harlem Shake, so I just walked around it. Any blue herbs? Oh, thank God. TYBG. Uh, we're still fine, okay. The Harlem Shake, you got whiplash. Do you remember when Filthy Frank, or I, I'm sorry, Pink Guy specifically made the Harlem Shake? Good times. Did I ever tell you guys that uh, the Harlem Shake was like really big when we were at Achievement Hunter? And I think Jack pitched that we were going to do a Harlem Shake video and Jeff said absolutely not. And that was the end of that conversation. We almost had a, there was almost an Achievement Hunter Harlem Shake video. That's why Jeff is the best boss. Ice Bucket Challenge video was great. Yo, Plebius Maximus, thank you for the prime sub, man. Thank you so much. Enjoy your 60-plus emotes. We got a lot of viewers here today, so thank you guys for hanging out on this Saturday, playing probably the peak of Resident Evil. Uh, if you're new here, feel free to drop a follow. If you follow, you get uh, five free emotes. Oh, shit, what did that say? It's an ordinary kitchen. There's nothing suspicious about it. And, uh, yeah, if you have a Twitch Prime sub, I'd really like it if you use it here. You get 60-plus emotes, including some animated ones, and, uh, it'd make me very happy. But, yeah, thank you so much for hanging out. Lurkers, new viewers, viewers who have been here forever. YouTube, if you're watching, thank you so much. Oh, fuck, here we go, YouTube cutscene. Gee, what do you think's in there? All right, before I go, uh, see what's in there. The fuck? Some weird RPG shit. Wow, dude, you suck as an artist. Holy shit, you're bad. Get another hobby. This shit sucks. Lot's diary. All right. If you're new here, yeah, I'm sorry, this is your first stream. Well, this is like an eight-year-old? Why, why am I going to lie to a child? You got to teach honesty to a kid. All right. That could, you know what? For all we know, that could be Jandy's art. Who knows? September 10th, I saw some prisoners at the arcade today. They all had sleepy eyes. One of the girls even slavered? Slaver? What the fuck word is that? We're throwing Swahili into this? Some of the boys were glaring at me. They wore rugs and smelled rotten. What the fuck? Fucking big rug. Uh, like Dad and Commander Vince had told me, they are very different people for our, from our Umbrella families. <coughs> oh, like drooled. Okay. Dad told me that they bring them to this island so they can operate on them and make them into decent people. Whoa! That's kind of fucked up to tell a kid. That's kind of... That's kind of fucking racist, actually. I think they are doing the right thing. I hope they will become decent people sometime soon. October 15th, I heard Commander Vincent killed those people who tried to escape from the prison. I wonder why such a thing happened. I know they are inferior to us, but did we have to kill them? Uh, is this what I believe? Is this what I believed in? Umbrella and my dad were supposed to help the inferiors by operating on them. Why did he kill them? What is happening in this fucking game? November 23rd, the city is in total panic. Monsters are everywhere, and they are attacking people. Those umbrella people who were very nice to me suddenly started attacking me. I need help. Please, someone rescue me. November 24th, my dad and my mom turned into monsters. One of the survivors told me that Commander Vincent turned the people in the city into monsters. I can't trust anyone now. I have to survive and protect my sister, Lily. Okay, Lily and Lot. No matter what, we have to escape from the city together. <laughs> All right, anyway. What's up, you racist fuck? Oh, wait, no, you're the sister. Hi, Lily. Don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. Where's your brother, Lot? Please, you have to save my brother. He's 
said he's going to the factory by the ropeway. Factory? Oh, he, he kind of does look like a Penny from Inspector Gadget a little bit. He told me that he could find a way to escape from this place inside the factory. But there are tons and tons of scary monsters there. I know that if he goes there, he's going to be killed. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Please. We've already lost Mum and Dad. You've got to help my brother. Please. I don't know. He might be like a, at a clan meeting or I something. I promise. Don't cry anymore, Lily. I may have been a bad person, Pat her on the but head. that was before. That's not who I am now. I will save these two kids. I swear it. Lily, you hide here. I'll go find your brother and then come back for you. Holy shit, this game. You know, I take this back. This game's a fucking masterpiece. I, this might actually be the best Resident Evil game. What? Let's see what's in here. Uh, red. Oh, hey, buddy. Why are you sleeping between the beds? What? Okay. It's like. It's like there was a thruple situation here, uh, but there wasn't a bed big enough for all three of them, so they each got their separate bed, and the, the third got in between. What did that say? Various books on Umbrella are lined up here. I thought that was a green herb. I want to die. <coughs> uh, okay. So combined again, we have how many mixed herbs? We have three mixed herbs. Okay. Yeah, it's a super green herb. Oh, the skeletons are here. Oh, shit. Are these the fucking guinea pigs that I killed? They're back? They're back with a vengeance? I'm sorry. I'm just, well, I'm just, I'm trying to make you decent or whatever the fuck Lot said in his racist manifesto. Uh, Bebop with the 6666. Hey, Ray, I've been a huge fan for a long time. You've been such a great source of entertainment for me. Can I get a GG for getting my master's and a new job in my first apartment in the last month? Hell yeah. GG! Dude, there's no way you have a master's and you watch me. The only people who watch me should have at most a GED. Anything past that, you should find better entertainment. But thank you so much for the 6666. And congratulations for all that big stuff, man. That's pretty huge. The only degree you should have is the fucking deodorant brand degree. If you're watching me, you shouldn't have anything above that. Okay, there's nothing behind me. something else that's weird about this game amongst the other many things there's never like the enemies are never mixed up like it's either always zombies always a tyrant always hunters or liquor or spiders they're not like dogs and a liquor or some shit maybe that's for the best i mean i got a high school diploma that's it same is mine still displayed oh yeah mine's just behind me oh shit hey buddy Oh, I hear the other one. I've made a mistake. Oh. Reload, 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 reload! Oh my god, you see that super pixelated blood? <laughs> I shot the red squares out of it. Uh, fuck. Is this Black Void where I came from? 
the rope is not working. The ropeway is not working? Oh, okay. All right, I came from there, I assume, so I go this way. Oh, Jesus! Fucking Christ! Stop doing that! Woo! Yeah, dude. Hey, remember the conversation we just had about not mixing up the enemies and they do it immediately in the next room? Jesus fucking Christ. Anyway. Hey, buddy. I missed. Uh. Fuck. Okay, it's two shotgun shells. I probably should have had... I probably could have taken him out with this shotgun, honestly. Or this handgun. I wonder if handgun B and handgun C are tied to the other, uh, the other doors we can go into at the beginning of the game. Uh, I'm just gonna use this green herb right now. Cool. Alright. <coughs> Stupid blowjob giraffe games. Oh, Resident Evil 6? Oh, is something going to jump through this fucking window? What's the point of this fucking room? Can I not interact with this? Oh. Okay. Yep. Hey, buddy. Okay. I had to hit A. Oh, what the, what the fuck are these, like, super lickers? What the fuck is this? All right, grenade launcher. Uh, I guess flame rounds? How do I, let's see. Oh, there we go, okay. Is that even doing damage? I don't even think that's doing anything. It's ri Can I just leave? Oh, yeah, let me get the fuck out of here. Okay. Uh, I don't think that did any damage. i am be honest. Oh, hey. Yeah, and one- and they went behind the poster. I don't- Okay. gonna make a mad dash for it. There we go. I wonder what that could have been. Alright, I gotta put the other grenades back on. I guess the flame grenades are just for, like, the ivy, maybe? Oh. Oh, bother. All right, before I forget, let's combine this with uh, this. And... Oh, yeah, one point blank. We'll kill him. You guys like my Woody the Pooh impression there? Who's stomping their feet? God, imagine a world where I could, like, turn the camera but not move. Oh, hey, buddy. All right, let me switch weapons here. Should be able to finish him off with the D! All right, there we go. So is that liquor thing, whatever, on top of the... Whatever we just took, gonna not come and get us, sir. <coughs> oh, fuck off. Oh, fucking eat my ass. Oh, and there's a dog behind him, too. Oh, this is bad. This is scuffed. All right. Oh, good, there's two dogs. What's better than one but two? I had to open my fucking mouth earlier. All right, I actually kind of want to kill this uh, guy, though. 
Because he drops ammo, but I don't know if it's worth it. Let's see. Oh, is he stuck over there? Oh, okay, he's coming now. Or maybe he's not. I don't know what the fuck he... Oh my god, auto aim, please. Is he stuck I'm over there? To bust. He might be stuck over there. Oh my god, auto aim, auto aim! Auto aim! Thank you for that store order, by the way. Frameratemerch.com. Uh, yeah, he's stuck walking in a circle. I guess I fucked up his pathing by r running past him? There you go. Alright, well that went infinitely better than I expected. Alright, sure. Keep on going. Lucas Man, Caliber, XGA from Scrumch. Thank you so much. There's something I love more than coming out a door and immediately staring at a door. Oh, that red herb is absolutely bait, and I'm going to take it. I'm 1,000% going to fall for this. Uh, okay, there's like multiple doors here. Dead aim is better than this. Slightly. Dead aim has... Uh, you can play dead aim with keyboard and mouse, apparently, and it actually controls much better. But, like, barely better. Oh, fuck this. Fuck this noise. Nope. Alright, well, full steam ahead, I guess. Yeah, what do you mean there's no reason to go back? There's two more doors I could have gone through. Did something just push me? What the fuck? What the f What the fuck is this? <gasps> Ow. I can't aim for shit. What are we... I don't... What is this? I've never seen these characters before. In like any Resident Evil game. Skylar Lee, what's going on? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing fine. Welcome to the stream. Oh, fuck! Hey. Reload here. Like, are these humans? Are these BOWs? I don't know. I'm just gonna run. Fuck this. I'm just running. Door? 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 Any doors in chat? Excuse me. Any doors in chat? Excuse me. These are B.O.W.'s? Okay. Oh, I think we're getting somewhere. Some Somebody's right next to me, pushing me. Excuse me. How fucking long? Oh, we're almost there. Okay. They're called Undertakers? I don't know if you're memeing or not. I think they're too far behind me. I'm just seeing if there's any items or some shit. No, there isn't. Not memeing. They're called Undertakers. Okay. Jesus. Oh, god damn it. Okay. Can you... Can we... Can I fucking breathe for a second? I just ran a marathon. Oh, God. Okay. Whoa! Hey, 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 hey! Oh, double whammy? Fuck, I didn't need that second shot. I gotta stop doing that. Believe it or not, only in this game. You know what? 
That I do believe. That I absolutely do believe. <coughs> oh boy, three doors. Hopefully I go through the right one. I wonder if this is another one of those... Uh... Oh, do all those other doors bring you here no matter what? Okay, so the area we were just at is another one of those... Uh... Pick your path, but it leads you to the same spot. No need to go back. I'm the only streamer playing this game? I don't believe it. Oh, shit. Uh, Alright, we're running. We're gonna try and dodge. Is there anything in this corner? I don't think so. Uh, anything around here? Nope. Make a mad dash for this gate, I guess. Yep, okay. You surprised this game had a category? Yeah, dude, it came out in 2000. It's been out for a while. It's a great game. Kind of, not at all. What the fuck is that? Oh, there's another one in the back I gotta watch out for. Okay. Is there a third one? Oh, there is. I do appreciate that with the hunters, you could just simply step back. Like, literally, one step back and they'll miss. If they jump in front of you, literally just like... And they'll miss. They just lay into them. I can't wait for this game to appear in my recommendation to play. Dude, this is just like Dead by Daylight. What do you mean? This is as, almost as good as Metal Gear Survive. See? Whoop. Okay, camera didn't know what to do there. Oh, I'm in a weird spot. I'm in a weird spot. I wonder if there was any redeemable quality about Metal Gear Survive. I don't know anyone who played it for anything other than memes. Like, I don't know if anyone played it, like, seriously. Hey, there. You wanna wrestle? I'm good. Put Vincent in Dead by Daylight. He'd be a great killer. <laughs> oh, interesting. It won't budge. It seems that it can't be opened. Uh, okay. Is there another door here? Oh, on the other side. Okay. Lapras, what's up, man? <coughs> Bag full of kitten. Thank you for the 56. <sighs> You only played Survive when it was on Game Pass? I didn't even know it was on Game Pass. Uh oh. Ah! What? All right. Ah! La, you all right? Do I need to come back later? Uh, more grenade rounds, okay. He burned himself trying to light up the cross. Yeah. Fucking racist ass Lot. Lot just saw a person of color and freaked out. Oh shit, there's two. Uh, well. Oh good, one shotgun shell, great. He didn't care. Oh wow, he missed, all right. We somehow got around that. You're dead. Oh, here comes another, another one. OK, 
Okay, so it seems like every enemy you just kind of bait in an attack. These guys didn't drop anything? Oh, what a ripoff. What a fucking ripoff, dude. What's this? Hey, we found the Magnum! Oh, that is a PlayStation Magnum if I've ever seen it. Let me lower the music a little bit. That is, uh, holy shit. That is polygonal. Uh, control, electric power is not supplied at the time. All right, this time. Some kind of power switch. I've turned on the switch. Clip is a gold mine for clips. Or this game's a gold mine for clips? Yeah. Definitely a lot of content out of this. It's so weird that the like, the zombies pose no threat in this game because you just have unlimited ammo with your pistol. And, and if they're not looking at you, they turn you to look at them, so they can't even hit you if they're not looking at you. It's very, very odd. Thank you for that store order, by the way. El Grande Nacho, thank you for the 28 months. Yeah, they auto-turn you. It's nice. You don't auto-turn, but they'll, they'll turn you for them. Or they'll turn you for, uh... Yeah, for them. Excuse me. Oh, whoops. Nope. Come on. Now oh, we got a little door back here. It's impossible to open. Never mind. Oh, is this gonna be bait? Is there gonna be some tyrants behind me once I do whatever's in here? Uh... I guess I need a key I don't have. Oh, whoops. What did that say? The power reactor's not working. Activate. Oh, an activation disc. Okay. I'll be right back. It is with Tina do extremely well. Oh, she because she's way funnier than me. And pretty. Oh, don't fucking respawn. out here. Alright, a couple of doors. Something's around that corner. I don't want to deal with it. Oh, this looks good. Yeah, this looks safe. Oh, acid rounds? Okay. Cool. Oh, not the fucking plants. Uh, <laughs> uh, something else that's stomping his feet. I can't stop hitting the wrong button. Uh, okay, so I assume the thing's in here, whatever it is I need. The disc thing. See this factory workers' diary. 
August 5th, 1998. I can't stand it anymore. I have to take the subjects to the operating table and sever their skull. We are one sentence in. Relax. Sever their skulls to extract a part of their brain. I do this over and over, day after day. It is awful. Guilt stays with me all the time, even after I go to bed. Commander Vincent instructs us, do not see them as humans. They are just raw materials we use to create tyrants with. But it is we who cut their skulls. I can never consider them as just raw materials. They are humans, just like we are. I asked Commander Vincent about ways to reduce their suffering, but he ignored my request, saying that by using anesthetics, pure beta hetero... Beta hetero non-serotonin cannot be extracted. Yo, raise your hand in chat if you're a beta hetero. Right here. Beta hetero. Right here. Even if it is the company's orders, I don't believe what we are doing is ethical. I'm sure that I'll be sent to the worst possible place when I die. Or perhaps should I say... I'm already there. Oh, you can see his foot clipping. Is there any reason to be in here? I don't think you can collect anything in here. I'm like mashing A and shit. Was there really just like a fucking lord here? Was that it? Oh, I'm fucking blind actually. I'm literally oh shit. Oh, that's that's the plants escaping. Okay. How do I get him out of the way? Where are you? Uh-oh. He woke up, he woke up, he woke up. Oh, sh oh boy. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Okay. This is very not good. Oh, hold on. Maybe they're stuck, actually. They might be stuck. Okay. Hold on. If you can believe it, the pathing in this game, not great. Hi, CC. How's it going? Did I get him? I can't even get through the door myself. Nice. All right. Well, how do you defeat enemies? I fucking get them stuck in a corner. <coughs> All right. So the plants are out now. And I'm just going to walk out? Okay. See ya. It's so hot in England right now, Ray. I'm dying. Dude, I'm sorry. That sounds, uh, not very PogChamp. But don't worry, you got some mediocre games now to watch, or mediocre game to watch. Mediocre would be a compliment, but you know what I mean. Tabanka, thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime sub. I just went through the same door twice, I'm an actual idiot. Oh, I have to go this way. Because I'm going to assume this is closed, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is going to need, like, power or some shit. Yeah, okay. Hey. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're good. We're good. Are we playing the best Resident Evil ever? No, read the title, it's the worst Resident Evil ever. Oh shit, right. Hey guys, it's me again. I got the disc. Fuck. What's going on, Ash? This is it, right? Very obvious trap. Here we come. Dude, the worst part about, like, 
super hot weather and why I prefer being cold to being hot is you can only take off so much clothing. Even if you get butt ass naked, you can't go like past that. At least when it's cold, you can keep uh, adding layers. Uh, what the fuck is this? Are these just normal zombies? Why did they get a cool fucking intro? Also, there was three of them. Where'd the third guy go? Oh, he's still stuck in there. Uh. Oh, hey guys. You guys doing all right? You guys doing all right? You guys having a moment? I guess I'll just take the grenade rounds. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, dude, they were just fucking jamming. They were having a good time. Foul play. Thank you for the 11 months. Okay, can I just, uh, leave? Oh, have I been out here? Oh, god, yeah, this is the elevator. I took to get up there. Fuck. Okay. <coughs> this is first person with tank controls, yes. It controls just as well as you think it would. They should remake this game for fun and see what happens. Well, I mean, they tried this kind of game multiple times. And uh, it was never successful, except for the Wii ones, which came out, like, ten plus years later. Ah, fuck it. Yeah, the, the Wii ones are on-rail shooters, like House of the Dead, so they're a little different from this. I do want to play those at some point on stream. I got to see if I can get keyboard and mouse set up on uh, Dolphin. Though I think playing that game with a mouse could be cheating. Like when we played 007, like Goldeneye with the mouse. And that was essentially cheating. Oh, what the fuck? I never got the the door lock. Or I never got the key card. Uh, what the fuck? Where do I go for that? Hmm. You don't think one of the plant guys has it, right? Alright, let's go check. Thank you, Lawful. Oh, why did I, why did I get lowered so much? There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know where this, uh, this key card is. I don't think these guys have it, but I'm just gonna check. And we could just kind of use these flame rounds or waste these flame rounds because they're not very good. Okay, yeah, they are specifically meant for these guys and only these guys. Okay, good. Good to know. Uh, I don't know if the plants are holding it. That's what I'm checking now. No, I don't think so. Maybe it was in that room when the zombies came out of. The, like, conga line of zombies? Maybe one of them had it, but I didn't pick it up. Then again, I didn't really fucking see it, so... Okay, in here was the disc. So, I don't think anything else would be in here. Yeah, Alright, yeah, let's go back to the conga line of zombies and see if we just missed it. Which is entirely possible. Ziddles, thank you for the nine months. Chris, see you later, man. My favorite weapon in the game, grenade gun. 
The only other game I can think of, Resident Evil game, where it's called a grenade gun, I think is Gaiden. Right? Was it called a grenade gun? I don't remember. <laughs> I still can't believe that in the in North America, this game came out after Code Veronica. That's wild. There's got to be at least one person that went from Code Veronica to this. And that's just awful. Okay. Garrett Hunt, maybe. Maybe. I was afraid to play any horror game as a kid. That's how I'm like now. I don't really like horror games. I'm a bit of a raging pussy. Where the fuck is this key card? What? But like these older games? Eh, they're whatever. Electric power is being distributed to the facilities on this floor. I don't fucking know where to go. Yeah, Resident Evil isn't my kind of series. I'm really hoping this is, this pushes me over the edge. Do I have to go back down here? Alright, let me kill these guys again for the fucking 15th time. Oh, this thing is on now. Right, I forgot about this thing. Can I do something with this? No, I don't think so. Oh. That's it? Oh, it's just telling me about the panel. Okay, um... Yeah, I guess I'll check back down here? No, this, this game has more music than Gaiden. Gaiden had one track. And boy, did you hear it. Okay, that's the power we turned on. We got the Magnum in here. Hmm. Can I go back up this way? Oh, but this takes me back out to, like, the haunted house part. So it's definitely not out here. I guess it's on that floor. I just don't know where the fuck it is. Unless... I mean, I have a key card already. Do I have to... Hmm. All right, let me go back to where the key card was. Oddly enjoy the Game Boy one. I wish items would be showed instead of guesswork. Oh, yeah. The ending of the game gets really, really difficult for some unknown reason as well. Like, the final boss of the game, you have to, like, push back. All right. I had to push this fucking b I hate my life. Oh, good. There's more plants. Oh, there's a switch over there. Or there's that thing over there. I don't have any way to defeat these guys. I walked past that light like 13 times. Oh, hey, guys. Uh, I'm just going to do this. And then I'm just going to do this. And all right. Good talk. Fucking run around him.
God, imagine your FOV being higher than three in this game so you have an idea of where enemies are at. This seems like a boss fight. Oh, actually, maybe not. Hold on. Excuse me, fellas. Okay. All right, a blue herb. I assume we get poisoned. What is this music? I think this is the song that AVGN mentioned in his review of this game, because he reviewed this game. And uh, I think this is the song he said, it sounds like someone bought a cheap Casio keyboard and threw it down the stairs. It's like three different people are composing three different songs and they just merged them together. But they're not talking to each other. You got a piano, you got someone on a keyboard. I'm an adult virgin. You got an adult virgin in there. It's a weird mix. What's up, Dusky? Oh, they're all the tyrants. A they tyrant factory. These monsters on this island. The music and the voice acting. Okay, uh, I fought like a hundred of these. Why is this one like different? Made a, an attack. I killed him. <laughs> okay, like the other eight I... Alright, cool. Lawful, thank you for the gifted sub. Zittles, Major Foley, thank you for the gifted sub as well. Lot, I'm coming! I'm gonna save you. There's some shit I don't fucking know. Did I kill him or the music? That's a good question. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, this FMV. This cutscene's 144p. A hunter? Oh my god, look at his stupid face. Oh fuck! The kid's dead! Help! Never mind. Yeah, dude. What? I'll save you with my cool run. Lot, I'm coming! Hang on! Another junta! Why was this made to be a boss fight? Oh, hey, for a first aid spray. All right, first time we're seeing one of those. Anyway, cool lot. fight. I'm sorry. Please I'm so forgive me. I'm sorry, lad. What are you talking about? It's not your fault. Vincent is the one who caused everything. Well, I mean, I... You? What do you mean? You're the detective. Your name is Ark Thompson. What? Oh, fuck! Really? I'm Ark Thompson! I'm not Vincent. I'm the spy! Then why did you run away from me? I'm the spy! I'm the one that told Vincent about you. That's Vincent? Uh, I'm Vincent. I've been transferred to this Wait. facility to inspect no. it. No, that's Danny to- Nice to meet you, sir. Wait, what the fuck? Okay. I know Commander Vincent. So I knew that you weren't him when I saw you. What? A spy. That's Vincent. Oh, mm. Vincent was Vincent's dead. He died in the Thank beginning you. of the game. You are a good boy. Mark. I think, right? Was that the helicopter dude? So then I'm Ark and not Vincent. What a twist. Dude, my name's Ark Thompson. Hell yeah. Lot, do you know of any way to get off <laughs> this island? My dad told me that there's a railway station up ahead from here. A railway station? I heard that it runs underground. Okay, we'll use that. Let's go get Lily. Go ahead! Hurry! We'll meet at the station! Good run cycle. Oh shit. Oh 
personnel must evacuate immediately. Repeat, all the personnel evacuate immediately. All right. How did the robot seem tired? That was like a tired robot voice. That's right. At the request of my friend, Leon S. Kennedy, oh, I came here to investigate. I'm friends with Leon? Oh, yes. I remember. I remember everything. What? Tell me the truth. You are a spy. Aren't you? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, my dog tags. Okay, that's how he got it. I like how they just add that in at the end. Oh, I also know Leon Kennedy. Do you guys remember Leon from Resident Evil 2? Yes, this is a Resident Evil game because I know Leon Kennedy. Yes, I'm not Vincent, I'm Ark. <laughs> oh shit, someone's going hard on the piano. Yes, I'm Ark. <laughs> yeah, dude, we, we got this. We got all this already. We're, we, oh shit. Oh, these fucking dudes. Oh my god, zombies might actually be a threat here. This room's a little claustrophobic. Uh, or I can just run around them. Never mind. Oh, I need a key. Okay. Yeah, I got it. It's locked. It's locked. Dude, fucking arc nut indeed. Oh, that's the key right here, I think. Right? Oh, no, it's a magnet rounds. Uh, can I grab them? All right, just kidding. I guess not. I'm arc! Hey, for people who played the first Silent Hill game on PlayStation, um, does that game use analog sticks? Or is that just a pure D-pad game? Oh, there we go, finally. It's D-pad, okay. I look forward to starting Silent Hill soon, because I am, as you can tell, I'm running out of fucking Resident Evil games to play. So eventually, I do want to start this, uh, the Silent Hill series. So I'll probably play it on Duck Station. Okay, so I guess I need to find a key. I thought one of these guys will have it, I guess not. There's Dino... Oh, there's another door over there. Oh, maybe I have to go that way. There's Dino Crisis as well, but I think Dino Crisis is coming to PlayStation Game Pass, so I might just play it on there. But, uh, if not, then I can just play it on Duck Station. Duck Station's been working great. Here we go. Okay. Let's do some fucking top-tier dodging here. To the right! To the... Oh, shit. To the left! Okay, wow, that actually worked out. See you. Yeah, I don't know if I would like Parasite Eve, because it is pretty RPG-heavy. It always seemed interesting, but I don't know. Oh, fuck me. Gee, do you think he's going to fucking come out of that tube? This appears to be some kind of cultivation capsule. Oh, yeah, I remember Cold Fear. That was on PS2, right? Was that game any good? All right, before I grab that key, let me uh, open this. Or read this. How to extract the material? Oh, great! How do we take this from the kids? Duck Station's just PlayStation 1. I gotta find a good PS2 one. I'm not sure if PS... PCSX2 is still, like, the best one or not. Anyway, hey, my fellow beta heteros. Here's how you extract the, uh, non-serotonin. To establish a system of mass-producing tyrants, it is absolutely necessary that during the process of gene cultivation, a large amount of Pure beta hetero non serotonin must be injected. Can I make one of my tags on Twitch beta hetero? Hold on. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so my tags, man, having custom tags on Twitch is a mistake. 
My custom tags are now uh, English, which you can't get rid of that one. Uh, Tina's husband, frame rate merch, number 51, beta hetero. I'm gonna leave this, and in like three days, probably less, I'm gonna forget that's there and be like, why does it say beta hetero? All right, so that is a, that's an inside joke for the 2,000 people that are here. If people are coming in, they'll have no fucking idea. Or maybe people who watch this on YouTube. Anyway. This material is one of the human brain's elements. It has been revealed that the material is mainly produced by the pituitary, that I butchered that word, uh, of people at the later period of developing their, their secondary sex characteristics. I don't want to read this anymore. I don't want to read this anymore, actually. Uh, I don't want to be reading about kids and their secondary sex characteristics. I'm gonna get fucking arrested. Also, medical data shows that this cerebral material is produced in response to the excessive serotonin uh, secretion, yeah, hate that word, of noradrenaline that is produced from the locus. Are these fucking words? Ceruleus and the brainstem. Noradrenaline is the cerebral material secreted when people are in a state of extreme tension or fear. Okay, why couldn't you just say that? Cut that down to, oh, we get the brain juice when they're scared. As the beta hetero uh, non-serotonin only exists in active cells, you can't extract it from a dead brain. Okay, so... <coughs> they're doing this brain secretion shit when the kid is alive but very scared because you can't do it when they're dead this is horrific fucking yikes thus the best way to extract the material is to cut open the subject's skull without using anesthesia this will cause excessive secretion of noradrenaline the the fucking Swahili word is then ripe for immediate extraction. Vincent Goldman, Commander Tyrant, Commander Tyrant Plan on Sheena Island. Oh, dude, do you think Vincent Goldman is related to Goldman from House of the Dead? Also, I guess we're on Sheena Island. Jesus Christ. All right, let me grab this key so uh, Spooky Dookie Man will come get me. What if this does work in collaboration, or if this is like a collaborative game with House of the Dead? This is pretty fucked up, man. This whole, like, story and lore of how they're making tyrants is, uh... Like, fucking yikes. Oh, I guess the guys are gone. The Ivy. Uh-oh. Oh, did he escape the tube? Who would have thought? Andy. Oh, it's Andy! I'll kill you, Vincent. <laughs> no, Jandy, what are you doing? Jandy! I'm not Vincent. Jandy! Liar. No! Who else could you be? You are Vincent. You're a murderer. Now die! Oh, well, there goes Jandy. What the f- This looks like Bicentennial Man. Is this Robin Williams? Who am I fighting? Was that the guy in the tube? I'm out of here. Oh shit, I'm not out of here. Hey man, uh... Do I have to fight you? I guess I do. It's the Silver Surfer. I'm actually fighting the Capri Sun guy. Uh, I mean, I guess we just shoot him with the Magnum. Maybe? We'll do this and then acid rounds? Yeah, dude. Excuse me. I mean, the same strategy works. Kind of just walk forward and backwards to bait and attack. Oh, I beat him. I hope that's not the final boss, but I'm starting to believe it might be. <laughs> anyway. Uh, uh, yeah, this is where we need to go because we have the key. 
Guys, what can I say? I'm just a beta hetero. He didn't know what to do. I was too beta. Okay, it's not the final boss. Oh, he's getting up. <coughs> okay, so, sure. Once again, someone going hard on the piano. Zombies in here? I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna- I don't know what's happening here. I'm running. Fuck it. I'm running. I hope we're not done. We're not even three hours in. The reason this game is taking longer than an hour and a half or two hours is because I got lost a little bit and I was reading the dialogue. Get on the train! Hurry! Yeah, this is absolutely the end of the game. I assume this game was full price at launch, so. Uh, oh, more shotgun shells. There's a very good chance that people who bought this game were scammed. Also, yeah, lazy robot again. Uh, do I do anything here? Oh, yeah, okay. Hey, these weird fucking SWAT guys are back. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. What the hell? Oh, this is bad, actually. Ow. I can't even fucking move. Oh, holy shit. I'm getting fucking wamboed. That's annoying. The fucking Undertaker. Takers, whatever. Yo, what the fuck is this screen? This is ass? This is so bad? I can't fucking move. Are we fucking serious? Who made that who made that screen? Hey, remember when I had all those herbs saved up for the final boss? Well, I fucking lost all of them. Wait, what? Why is the music playing? Don't we have to fight that thing again? Yeah, that that was harder than the final boss. Are we are we done? The final boss guy got up. Are we not fighting him again? This is like the music you hear at the end of an 80s movie. No, this looks like a boss arena. Maybe? Get in the helicopter! <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh my god, he's pogging. Alright, this is the boss. Okay. It's still alive. Hey, good thing I lost all my health because of the fucking firing squad. Yeah, great. I only have... Fuck off. Chad, he's morbed up. Oh, what the fuck? He is way more agile. Okay. Jared Leto, back the fuck up. Oh my god, this is gonna be... Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is this is bad. Okay. Uh, hey, if I didn't lose all my health, I'd feel a little bit more confident, but I don't feel confident at all right now. Um, let's acid round. Acid round is generally the best for the, gr the grenade the grenade gun. Excuse me. Shot him right in the wiener. Oh, my God. 
I'm not even sure that hit. All right, well, he's going to jump again. We got like 48 grenades to use. Oh, good. We oh, we do have flame rounds. Okay, well, I don't want to heal him, so. All right. 24 grenades. Let's see how this goes. You can't run backwards either, by the way. Oh, we got him. Okay, never mind. We're fine. <laughs> that was... Hey, the firing squad was easier than the boss fight. Whoever put that scene of the five Undertakers laying... Oh, don't tell me you're evolving. He's evolving, maybe? Is there... Fi oh, never mind. We're not done yet. It's still going. It's still going. Never mind. I thought we were done. Yeah, now he's this. Okay, sure. Oh, God. Fuck me. This never ends. And sorry, I meant harder, not easier for the firing squad. Is it the same strategy, though? Just... Is it possible to morb up twice? This guy just double morbed. Oh, Jack, can you do me a favor while I do this dumb boss fight? Can you look up the price of this game? I want to know if it's one of those games that's really bad but really expensive for some reason. I can't imagine it is, but you never know. You never know with shit like this. All right, this is like my only heal, so. Pre-owned is 35, new is $900. Yeah, you fucking wish. 60 or 70 bucks. Is it like complete in boxes, couple of hundred? Shit. $60 complete in box? Okay, that's actually not too bad. That's the thing, like, people on eBay can write hundreds of dollars, right? I don't know if they're going to get that price. All right, we kind of had him in a loop there. 75 la for, oh, black label. Well, shouldn't only, oh, okay, we're done. Shouldn't only be black label? I don't think this game got a greatest hits or anything. Yeah, stage four? Are we done? All right. Hey, I think we beat it now for real. Oh yeah, we're good. We beat it. We beat it. Hurry! We beat this game in two and a half hours, while getting lost for like ten minutes and reading all the dialogue that we saw. Ten seconds to detonation. When's the next Nine, RE stream? Tomorrow. Eight, We're playing Dead Aim. Where's the girl? Two, They're both in the helicopter ready. I'm Vincent? Oh, I would love to own the Resident Evil 4 chainsaw controller. Just to have. It's a cool piece of history. But, like, unusable. All right. Goodbye, Sheena Island. Goodbye. We're safe. It can't oh, be. fuck. He's back. No. What the fuck? What the fuck? Get down. No shot. Oh my god, dude! Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? I don't think that's how that works! Hey, chat, you want a rocket launcher? I got you something better. 
How do you feel about helicopter missiles? What are we gonna do, mister? Yeah, what are we gonna do? I... I don't know, but don't worry. We can fly as long as we have fuel. Well, yeah, that's how it works. You can go as much, as far as as much fuel as you have. Did you just explain how a helicopter... Okay. Chat, that's it. We're done. Resident Evil Survivor. What a fucking game. And, uh, hey, you never see Art Thompson, Lily, or, uh... The fuck was his name? Again. Lonnie? That's it. That's it, dude. A lot. Yeah, whatever the fuck his name is. They both started with L. So, depending on the path you choose, I believe the end, like, we got Jandy. That, that character can be, like, two other people. Uh, I don't think... I was gonna play it again... Just to see the differences, but it turns out a lot of the areas just lead to the same place. So it actually doesn't really matter that much. Like, here's a... Here's a map that I found that kind of shows how it breaks down. I'll put this in the YouTube description as well. All the paths will always lead to, like, the same area. There's a couple of branching paths, but it's not that major. Is that the right link? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, Ray Lee. Nice. So that's the story of... Uh, of Ark Thompson. And Vincent. And the kids. And... Holy shit, dude. Uh, yeah, this is the worst. Oh, hey, here's everyone who voiced everybody. Was Patrick Harlan Ark Thompson? What a god. What a god. Friend of Leon Kennedy. Hey, you know what's funny? Leon never mentions Ark. Yo, Resident Evil 9, bring back Ark. Bring back Ark and Resident Evil 9. Make it happen. Leon Kennedy, Ark Thompson co-op game. Let's do it. Cancel Resident Evil 4 remake. I have a new idea. Also, have you seen some of these names that are going by? like a meme. The overall story is the same, but you get different things that happen. Like those BOW soldiers get introduced a bit better. Oh, do you mean earlier? Oh yeah, Capcom, are you happy about this? You put your name, really? You thought this was good enough to put your name at the end? Good Lord. Uh, Let's see, okay. I got an A rank. Two hours, hit average was 75%. I killed 145 monsters, one continue, that was early on, and gun collection. There's three more weapons? Dude, A for Ark Thompson, you're right, chat. What other guns were there? What? I mean, there's the two other handguns. There's a handgun E? Yeah, there would be B and C, maybe? I don't know. You know what? Who the fuck cares? Who cares? We got an A rank. A for ARC. Would you like to save the weapons you've obtained? Oh, Chad, there's New Game Plus! We can do New Game Plus! Imagine playing this game uh, more than once. Unless you're speedrunning. Hey, this is the only instance where you could save, I guess. Yeah, I'm good. What? Man, what an experience. What is there to say about Resident Evil Survivor? Uh, I know a lot of people didn't know this game existed, but uh, holy shit. I don't... I, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. The voice acting... Chef's Kiss. Whoever voiced Ark Thompson, I forgot his name. Iconic. Incredible. Wonderful. 10 out of 10. The music was kind of cool at yeah, points. Dude. And at other points, it was bad. 
And uh, yeah, I don't. I'm Ark. There is a Survivor too, uh, but it's it's Code Veronica, but it's a completely different mess. Uh, I'll, I'll show the YouTube video here before we switch games. Then there's the Dino, the dinosaur one, and then there's Dead Aim, which we're playing tomorrow. Oh yeah, see, like this is a different area. I guess if we there's a movie theater that we didn't go into. So yeah, there's. I mean, you know what? I joke, but there is actually some kind of replayability to this game, oddly enough. But uh, holy shit! So that was Resident Evil Survivor. Uh, oh, my train is still going. Whoops. You're welcome. Or I'm sorry for introducing you to Resident Evil Survivor. Uh, all memes aside, I think that is that is the worst Resident Evil game. It's probably below Gaiden for me. Uh, yeah, that, that was rough. YouTube, though, I hope you enjoyed the meme. I love you. Take care. Goodbye.